Ladies and gents, we are looking at the Izanagi's Burden Exotic Catalyst. And yes, it's uh, it's quite a grind. This weapon in general, it's just quite a grind. And the catalyst all on its own requires lots of activities done in the menagerie. Essentially, if you want to get this exotic catalyst, you need to have your chalice complete. And upon finishing the heroic version of the menagerie, the exotic catalyst is a guaranteed drop. Now the exotic catalyst here reads, increases the damage bonus of honed edge when four bullets are consumed. And just for a refresher, the intrinsic perk found in this weapon is called Honed Edge. Holding Reload consumes the magazine and loads a round with additional range and damage. We're going to talk about this weapon in both PvE and in PvP. So let's hit up some damage numbers. First up, back at Greg again, a single crit shot from this weapon without any honed edge is 3,657 damage. Now with honed edge times four, this damage jumps up to 18,238 per crit. That's a hell of a lot of damage, guys. But at Honed Edge times four with the Exotic Catalyst, this damage jumps up to 21,885, which is about a 20% increase here in PvE. Now, PvP, it's the exact same thing. We get a 20% increase essentially allowing us against supers to hit 781 per crit and 131 per body without the exotic catalyst and with the exotic catalyst it's 938 per crit and 157 per body I know many of us were very bummed out about this i believe many of us assumed that with honed edge times four with the exotic catalyst we would have been able to one shot body shot guardians in their supers unfortunately that's not the case here the 20 percent increase in damage is just not enough now moving on to deep DPS. Izanagi is a weird one when it comes to DPS because of course it's not just this continuous burning of damage into your opponent, right? No, you actually have to stop, reload the weapon, reproc honed edge times four, and this takes some time. Not only does it take time to do that, but there's also a small delay there in between shots, which is extremely annoying. Even if you have something like sniper reload that obviously is showing honed edge being activated faster, there is still a small delay there. Obviously, Obviously, this is to keep this weapon in check. Now we're gonna go over DPS values, but I do want to mention before getting into these damage values that this is only relevant to Greg. There's lots of other weapons out there that people throw around numbers like 100,000 damage per second, 250, whatever. I mean, there's there's so many numbers, but I gotta tell you, depending on the activity that we're talking about, these damage values, of course, change. And when they change, so does your damage perspective. But the reason why we use Greg, or specifically why I use Greg, and I see a few other content creators use Greg, is that he's a good control for us to compare all weapons to. So DPS with Izanagi's by itself is 5 5,486 damage per second. Not really cooking there, boys. Even with that extra damage being a kinetic weapon, that's still pretty poor. Now, with Honed Edge times four, this is when things get pretty interesting. You see, we don't calculate damage per second with this weapon until the first shot. And the first shot is already at Honed Edge times four. So actually, at the top of the chart here, with your first shot of Izanagi's Burden, we start out at 11,458 damage per second. That is a ginormous jump here in damage. But as we begin to charge up Honed Edge in between each one of these shots, this of course extends our damage per second, or in this case, decreases it. And with each interval, we drop a little more there in damage per second, eventually all the way down to 8,369 after five shots. Now I do wanna point out, this is actually really good DPS. It's, it's not bad at all. We tested something like threat level last week with Surrounded and Surrounded Spec, and it had somewhere between 97 to 9,800 damage per second. But comparing this to a weapon that we see in many of our activities, let's compare it directly to something like Mountaintop. Now, Mountaintop here is actually doing a total damage of 5,823, giving us a damage per second of 8,735. But if you happen to have something like Major Spec on or Boss Spec, which many of us do, our DPS value actually jumps up to 9,416. So can something like Izanagi's Burden with the Exotic Catalyst replace something like Mountaintop? And I would say anywhere after that fourth to fifth shot is when something like Mountaintop surpasses Izanagi's Burden in terms of damage per second. Again, remember, a huge benefit to something like Mountaintop is that it has higher total damage than something like Izanagi's with times four damage. But in those brief spurts where you're just trying to do a crap ton of damage, whether it's against strike bosses, public event bosses, lost sectors by yourself, Izanagi's Burden packs a hell of a punch. Now, me personally, can see 
considering that it is an exotic, I was kind of hoping for more here. Something to really separate itself from all of our other weapons, because there is a lot of legendary weapons like Mountaintop, or even Threat Level with something like Surround and Surround Spec. There's many weapons in that same slot that are legendary that can definitely hang with something like Izanagi's Burden for extended damage, right? But by itself, I have to say, just on its own, Izanagi's Burden as a kinetic special weapon is the best for quick spurt damage. It is the best weapon for dealing damage within three to four shots, and it can beat out the best of them. So guys, that is Izanagi's Burden. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And fellas and ladies, thank you for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Oh.